for The Focus Pastor. I'm Josh Zajek, and today we're talking with Pastor Greg Gilbert of Third Avenue Baptist Church here in Louisville, Kentucky. And we're talking about the gospel and the mission of the church. Pastor Greg, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, you're welcome. Welcome right. to Louisville. I want to get a little bit of story. Talk about just your own journey, uh, how the Lord drew you to himself. Yeah, sure. I uh, grew up in a super small town in East Texas called Linden, Texas. It was a, an extremely small town. Christian family, uh, uh, mom and dad uh, were, were and are wonderful Christians and took me to church every time the doors were open. So I heard the gospel growing up over and over again. I was converted in a revival meeting uh, back when I was nine years old. I walked down the aisle and, and uh, uh, the Lord changed my heart that night through the preaching of the word. Grew up in the youth group and so I grew as a Christian in, in those days. Eventually after high school, uh, went to uh, Connecticut to Yale University where uh, I sort of learned how to defend my faith, I guess, in a way that I'd never had to before. And so that was a pretty formative experience. What did that even look like on the campus of Yale as a conservative oh, Christian? The, the first time I visited the campus, uh, it, we, you know, we went for a visit during my senior year and I found myself at this coffee shop with, uh, with it, was, it was three different Jewish people and me sitting at this coffee shop. And so we ended up having just an amazing conversation about Jesus as the Messiah, the Old Testament. Uh, it was a fascinating conversation, and I thought, man, this is this is where I want to be. You know, I'm a Christian. I love these kinds of conversations. This is utterly different from any conversation I've ever had in East Texas where, you know, everybody just believes in Jesus. Whereas at Yale, it became really clear to me that, oh, this is a whole, this is a whole other thing. Um, so when I got there as a student, I had four roommates. There was an atheist Orthodox Jew, different guy than, than the one at the table. Uh, there was a honest to God Rastafarian who believed everything about Rastafarianism. There was another guy who wanted to be an economist. He was sort of agnostic religiously, but he converted to Rastafarianism in the middle of the year because he liked certain of the rituals that go along with Rastafarianism. Uh, and then there was a guy who walked into the room first time I met him and told us that he was uh, a full on philosophical hedonist and so he was here to maximize his physical pleasure and we all better just get ready for that. You can imagine the conversations late at night that went on between me, atheist orthodox Jew, Rastafarian, Rastafarian convert and full-on philosophical hedonist. They were just wild. At some point during that, that time at Yale that's when the Lord started to sort of work on my heart to give me a desire for ministry. I've been here for uh, uh, what is it, 12, 12 years now as senior pastor of Third Avenue. 